Well, we've got the cab ball squared away. Fire's buried, as it should be. Just a quick look around, make sure that I haven't left any rubbish around. And we're good to go. We'll go and tackle this little hill. Train's all lubed up. Just come down here and get a run up for her. It's pretty loose gravel. Momentum is always the key. It doesn't look that bad actually. Spoke too soon. <laughs> up we go. And we're out. This or that. Made it look so easy. Gorge, we'll see you later. Thanks for an awesome camping spot. a bit lazy first up in the morning not getting up on the pegs Better people to come down here and do a U-turn and then go the other way again just for the want of one phone call to Flora Valley Station. Okay. Mind you, if people were responsible they wouldn't have to do that kind of thing would they? It's unfortunate that uh, there's idiots out there who just leave gates open, don't respect other people's property, don't follow basic fire, you know, campsite buddy fire regs. It's just crazy. Anyway, we'll be back out onto that smooth piece of gravel road shortly. Back onto Duncan Road again. Clear as a bell. 
Oh, no point in recording this, so uh, we'll get a bit of Halls Creek. Well, someone's got a sense of humour. Oh, it's a funny way to park. Look at it rocking in the wind. Doesn't look very safe like that. Any guesses on what that was? It was a four-wheel drive actually, it was a landy. Yeah, it was a Land Rover Discovery. <laughs> Seen better days, that's for sure. A little bunch of some kind of fowl. Scooter was there apparently. What do we got? Let's have a look at the telemetry. 30 k's to Halls Creek. Breakfast, fuel. Otherwise, we're looking good. It's a funny little siding there. Yeah, so Halls Creek for breakfast will fuel up. And then we're going to head out to the Wolf Creek crate up. Oh, I might just give the lens a quick, pardon that, let's give the lens a quick wipe. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, we're going to head out to the Wolf Creek Crater, have a bit of a look around there. That's Australia's biggest meteorite crater, well, the biggest one we've discovered. And uh, then it'll be back to Kananara. Over there, stay there overnight. Oh, dusty. And then um, off down the Gibb River Road.
we can tell we're getting close to civilization again by all the signages. Still, two days and I, I, see, I saw two cars actually travelling on the road. I saw a couple others parked off the side and that was it for uh, 450 odd k's of Duncan Road. Lots of cows of course. that new wobbly, uh, <laughs> giving that new knobbly a bit of a workout. Traffic hazards. I think this whole section is a traffic hazard. Oh, we're catching up to someone. Third car. Third car for the ride. It's worthy of recording. Out and around him in a flash, eh? Probably not in a hurry to get anywhere. Whereas I'm a little bit behind schedule now. They're still saying we're a fair way out. Could that be 27 k's? The GPS must had a brain fart. I'm sure it was saying 30 k's an hour ago. Well, it could just be that it zoomed in a fair way because we're going slow. No, I reckon it's 26. The 26 k's of this is going to take it out of me. And the bike. We might have to just drop the pace back a bit, cruise it a bit more. the dipper. Oh, on the brakes hard. Did say 40. 
I was looking at the scenery. You'd think I'd be concentrating, wouldn't you? Back on the bitchy again. For the last little bit into Halls Creek, I guess. Yeah, the Garmin's saying back to 6Ks again. Oh, you wouldn't want to be relying on that when it was 30Ks out initially, would you? Halls Creek. Have we made it? My uh, brother-in-law, should say ex-brother-in-law, worked here as a school teacher for ooh, six years, teaching the local kids art primarily, I guess some of their own art, and he has become quite an accomplished artist in his own right now. Some of the work he does is just phenomenal. Now he's got to find a servo. This is the main road, so I guess there'll be one on here somewhere. Surely, be a roadhouse or something. What day is it? Sunday? Oh, here we go. Fuel. Hopefully they got a bit of the rich stuff. Looks like they have. Yep. Coming up on the Wolf Creek Crater turn off. Still 20 Ks. Oh, there's a gate. There's a gate lot. Oh, jeez. Bloody soft sand nearly got me again. It always seems hard on top and then just the old crust gives way. That's what you want with a fully loaded bike lying on the ground again. All right, what do we got? Oh, they're both going to open. Ugh. We'll find somewhere a bit harder to park on the other side. God's sake. That's better. Good quality gate, that one. Oh, 20 k's to go. See what sort of condition this road's in. 
Looks a bit sandy already. We'll just take it uh, at a moderate pace until we get a feel for it. See what it's going to throw up at us. We've got another gate. Some kind of abandoned homestead over there. Graffiti artists have been at work. the old foot off the seat. It's a bloody tall bike this I tell you now. You gotta put a bit of effort in to get the leg over. And if you don't put enough effort in, well you just end up scratching the seat up. It's your own fault then for being lazy. Let's go check this out shall we? Well, I wouldn't have said it was a, a farmhouse. It's not big enough. Probably one of the station outhouses originally. You know, back before they had cars that could handle these gravel roads at 100 k's an hour. They had to have quite a few uh, rest points along the way. Look at that old slow combustion stove there. Oh, it's reasonably modern. I mean, it's got metal hangers for the roof. Well, when I say reasonably modern, they've probably been around for, what, 40 years, 50 years? And over here, look at this. It's a mobile home, for God's sake. Or what used to be. Back in the day, that would have been a mobile home. Fancy a night out. This is what passed for a caravan back in the day. All the modern cons of home. The dunny. Somewhere to put your beer. Wow. Jayco, eat your hand out, eat your heart out. What a beast.
back probably 50, 60 years, that probably was a luxury mobile home. Someone put together themselves. The remnants of the farm shed. Those solar panels must be still getting used for something or they'd be gone. It's probably a bore there, I'd say. Be a bore pump hiding under there. Supplying water to the troughs and that around the area. Yep. Fascinating. Last gate. Over there I could see like a couple of low hills. I presume that's the rim of the crater. I think I prefer it better when I've got someone to jump out of the car and open the gate for me. Takes me back to the days of being on the dairy farm. Alright. Fecking around with this charging cord because the stupid camera X Doesn't last long enough. Not even in standby mode. Interesting to read what the specs were on the meteorite. How big, how fast. How long ago. We'll find that all that out very shortly. Oh, this was a shady spot to park the bike. Oh yeah, there was too, look. Nice. Here we are. Check out the specs. It says there, the crater's around 300,000 years old. It's 850 meters across second biggest one in the world. Of course the US has got the largest and uh, it weighed around two tons. Doesn't say how fast it was going but it would have been going around about 30 kilometers a second which is a fair wallop of uh, energy isn't it? The bullet out of a 50 cal is traveling at around two, two kilometers a second. Gives you some idea of the impact energy. Anyway we can go for a walk up the track up to the rim, have a squeeze. So everything we can see here, all these hills and mounds, all of this was ejected out of the crater obviously. Three hundred thousand years ago is not all that old, really. Whoa! That's quite impressive.
windy. The wind is absolutely whistling up here. But anyway, we're gonna head down. It's supposed to be a bit treacherous. So we're not gonna do too much moving. I wanna watch that putting my feet. Okay, we've gone super wide view now. So just so you can get a bit better view of the crater as we descend. See what the track's like. It's not too bad yet. It's obviously going to get a bit steep as we go down. You know, I've got a lot of bad things to say about Camera X here, but at least the video stabilisation, electronic, is pretty good, eh? I almost have to say, a couple of years, there'll be no more gimbal. It'll all just be electronic stabilisation. That's not too bad. Yeah. Keep descending here for a little bit more and then we'll stop filming because I've got to save the battery life obviously. Okay, we're loaded up again and we're heading out of Wolf Creek Crater. So that was all right, but I'll tell you. Very interesting. Oh, well, we might, uh, once we get through this gate, we'll program cut an hour in the GPS and see what it reckons how far I'm thinking probably about 400 k's easy afternoons run especially when I know there's a cold beer at the end of it anyway we're not going to do every gate on the way out so unless something interesting happens end of videoing Fuck's it, I broke my mirror! There was a buddy, a sandy corner, a blind corner, there was a tree hanging right out over the road, and there was uh, a couple of branches there, and one clipped the mirror. And obviously it was a bit tougher than I thought. So thus now the mirror has got multiple angles. It's a safety mirror now. Well, I had a choice, run wide or just skim the tree. And I thought the tree was the lesser of the two evils.
but obviously not. Oh, look what we've got here. Oh, there's a wedge tail here. Look, there's a wedgie there. Awesome. Feasting on the carrion. Yeah, well, anyway, what have we got? What's it say there? 43 k's back to the Great Northern Highway. Fill up at Halls Creek again. And then we do the bitumen run back to Kununurra. Well, we're back at Halls Creek again. We're going to juice up. And then... Uh, off the Katanara. We are the stray, we are 